right, hi guys. Welcome to a Tidy Up Tuesday. I look horrible, so I'm gonna make this entrance as short as possible so we can just get to what I was gonna do. So I've been dealing with vertigo today. I have no idea where that came from. Like I've never had a problem with vertigo before, but I woke up and like the room has been leaning all day. So <laughs> I've been cleaning real slow. The husband came home, he helped me clean up a little bit. So instead of recording me cleaning, I'm just gonna show you the final product and I'll go around in each room and tell you what I used and what my favorite products to use in that room are. The only thing that's not done yet is the floors. He is at the store right now buying carpet fresh, so we have not done our floors yet. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we're in the front entrance. You can hear it echoing. And the first thing you come to is the living room. So, didn't really use anything in here other than some watered down Fabuloso on the, um, on the counter or on the tables. Just because I wanted it to smell really good. We're having company tomorrow, so. Wanted it to smell good. So, living room is clean. These things up here, I think I told you about these already in another um, video. This is all just Dollar Tree stuff. And I just placed it around the, the TV to make it look nice. So I cleaned everything in here, just dusted. Um, let's spin her around. We've got, there's the front door where I just came from. There's the pigs. They got a cleaning today. They're a pain in the butt. So down this way is the kitchen. Now, still got some dishes hanging out over there, so that's all right. Cleaned up the counters. Um, I am in love with the Method Crisp Apple Scent. It is freaking amazing. It smells so good, and I am not an apple person usually, so it's really good. So I just um, cleared off the counters, sprayed them down. Selena made that little springtime wreath, so super cute. Dishes are drying, counters are clean. I went ahead and did my um, stainless steel. I sprayed it down with, um, I don't remember. Spin around here and show you my, see, look at how pretty it is. Weinman's, I think that's what it's called, Weinman's spray. So I really like it, and then you buff it out with a cloth. So that's the kitchen. Um, I'll probably be using just vinegar and water on the floors after I vacuum. Um, this area back here. This area back here is just kind of like the whatever area. So I got some stuff stored in those bins over there, my art stuff. And then I've got my puzzle on that board because usually it's up here on the table. But when we have company, I have to put it down there. So um, that's why it's on the board. I got a couple things to put away over there. We got a vacuum. Um, I dusted everything here. I think I just used vinegar and water to dust this area over here. Cleaned my windows last week. They are a pain in the booty. Look at how many windows I have, guys. Ready? Oh, I'm not done. Nope. Nope. Oh, look at all those windows. Nope. Oh, French doors. Look at all these windows. Holy cow. It took me like, I don't know, like two hours to go clean these windows inside and out. It was a pain. And they still really don't even look that good. So, and we've got the big table there. There is like no sense in even trying to clean that, but I do. <laughs> it's, uh, I just use vinegar and water on that. I mean, you can see here. There's literally like paint all over it. See, Ooh, paint. It's just real rustic. My husband made it. And so it's not that we don't take care of it. It's just like this is our family, you know. This is our family table. This is where we do everything at. And then you've got the um, my gallery. Oh, there's a garbage bag. I didn't even see that. Need to put that away. Anyway, there's my, gar uh, my, there's my garbage bag. There's my gallery of art back there. All my artwork I like to work on. And my husband's red skin Kleenex holder back there. So that's it for the kitchen. My purse is out. We need more of that carpet stuff. That's why my husband's out. 
And then I guess I could probably show you Hannah's room. I'm sure she cleaned hers. The other one doesn't get cleaned though, so we don't go in there. <laughs> That's the teenager's room. So the bathroom got all pretty cleaned. My husband did this one when he came home. So it's all pretty clean, pretty clean. They just have a vanity and all their girl stuff up there. Holy cow, they had so much stuff. Like between Hannah and Selena. Yeah, they have a ton of stuff. So I'm trying to spin slowly, guys. I don't want anybody to get sick. And plus, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really big for spinning right now. This is Hannah's room. She's got lots of stuff. I try to clean out some of this stuff and get rid of some of like, <clears throat> get rid of some of the little stuff, but she just, she doesn't want to. So this is her room. Those are her butterflies up on her wall. And then she's got her TV up there. Her Jojo Siwa picture signed by her. And then her bed. Oh, I didn't even see the dog there. Hello, doggy. I was so busy looking at the iPad, I didn't even see that the dog was lying on the bed. Um, Camo likes to come in here because this is the um, like shortest bed to the ground. See? It's not very high. We have a really high bed. And since she's old, she can't jump up there no more. So, plus this is a tempur bed. Ours is too, but... I mean, who doesn't want to sleep on a tempur bed? So, and that's Hannah's window and everything out there. All right, let me close these doors behind me real quick. Those are just her closet doors. This is, that's it, that's her closet doors. So, back out, and we'll go into my bedroom. Um, my husband used... What is it called? Comet. He likes Comet with bleach. I hate the stuff. I don't use it. Um, Hannah's room, we used, I want to say, the Lavender Fabuloso because it smells really good. And then she's got a, um, let me show you. She's got an essential oils diffuser over there. So her room smells really good. Um, we put a um, a good night essential oils in it. I'll, if I run into it, I'll show you. All right, so we'll walk over to the bedroom. And here's my vacuum ready to be used as soon as my husband gets home. That's the laundry room. We don't go in there. I hate that room. It's my nemesis. That's the door to the garage. And here we are in my room. And I just noticed my husband left the bleach cleaner over there. Okay, so here's my bedroom. Um, I've got some baskets there that I need to put away. They've got clean clothes in them. I also have an essential oils diffuser, and my room smells super yummy, too. Um, the sign above the bed, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. That is a DIY. I took two um, Christmas signs. They have Santa Clauses on the back and glued them together. Um, painted them up and wrote on the back of them. So that's a quick DIY for that. I just, I don't have a lot of things on my walls. I don't like a lot of things on my walls. I feel like if, um, if there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot more stuff to clean and I'm not down for that. Plus, I just think it looks cluttered when there's like a whole bunch of stuff. So here's the and there's my closet. I'll show you that in a second. Here's my um, dresser. On the other side of the bed on the far side so I've just got a picture of me and mom and my love sign my flowers a glass rose that Selena bought me and our TV um, I use the lavender fabuloso in here because it smells so good um, it goes really well with my essential oils diffuser because right now I'm burning up oh, there it is let me show you Hold on, sorry guys. All right, it's called Good Night. Oh, it's not gonna focus, is it? Nope. Good Night, I think by Nature's Path. It's called 
Nature's Truth Aromatherapy Good Night 100% Pure Calming. So I got that at CVS. They carry that line. So I really love it. It's like a lavender orange lemon. And um, I just really like it. So my closet. You guys have seen this probably a million times already. All my shoes lined up. We got some baskets, some extra snacks that we have to keep in here because um, sometimes our middle daughter will take abundance of snacks and bring them to school. So we can't afford that. Um, my Rubbermaid containers. So it's kind of hard to get a, a picture of them because I'm kind of squished in the so what happened with these was I was doing crafts, uh, craft fairs for a little while, a couple years ago, and I have all these crafts. Well, I didn't know what to do with them. I don't know how to store them. In our old house, we didn't have any storage room at all, so I got these bins. Well, they ended up in here in my closet, and, you know, they look like utility bins. I don't want that. So what I did was I went to the Dollar Tree and got some foam board wrapped some foam board with um, some contact paper and I just printed out these uh, pictures in black and white just Paris that's a street in Paris the Eiffel Tower and another street in Paris I just printed them out and centered them put them on there and I hot glued them to that one I didn't do the um, the background I just thought you know it would be a little bit different to have two of them with the background and one of them just plain so I kind of, you know, took something that didn't look so pretty and made it, because see, this is Paris, all this is Paris themed. Uh, got the Eiffel Tower over there. So that's why I decided take something that's not pretty and just kind of make it your own, I guess. I don't know. Got some flowers back there to add some feminine touch. Got my um, perfumes on a dessert platter. That's actually um, something that was left here by the old owners of this house. And I don't know them. I tried to find out who it was, but it was above the uh, refrigerator. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use it. I tried to find out who lived here and where they were. And apparently it was an older lady and they don't even know if she's like still around. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use it. So thank you, lady, who left me that. I've got my nail polish just in a vase over there with my um, deodorant and a lint roller. So when I get ready in the morning in here, I can just roll myself off because we all know Cammie's got tons of hair. Um, lotions I just have in this um, tray here and then my makeup is in a box and it's just a magnetic box that I bought at, um, at uh, Tuesday mornings and then I've got a family portrait that's from when I was super duper little those are all my brothers and sisters I have tons of them and I've got to get a good frame for it because it's beautiful and I love it and I miss my mom, so I'll get that framed and put up. And that's it. My uh, mirror there. I just used some vinegar and water to clean that. So in here, the only thing that I really like clean off is the mirror. The other stuff I just go around with like a wet rag and dust. So that's it for that room. So I think I'm done, you guys. I think I showed you everything. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you have any other favorite products that you have that you want to share, please let me know. I love, like I said in my last video, I love getting new clean products because I hate cleaning, you guys. I really do. I hate cleaning, but I love having a clean house. Like, it's a struggle. <laughs> it really is. I mean, like, if I was the type of person that didn't care about things being all over the place, it wouldn't matter. But I do care. And I hate having, like, chaos. It, like, clutter creates chaos in my mind. So I just love having a clean house. But all right, guys. Well, take care. I got a couple things to do before I can sit down for the night. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.